took whatever's happening on my machine. The only thing I forgot to do was turn on my microphone. So that's why I was like, couldn't hear anything I was saying. <laughs> so I hit the start key in G. Yep. Simultaneously. Yeah, like kind of like when you do like any kind of alt, like in, whenever you're using a program, you want to do like a shortcut, like alt E or alt, you know, it's just like one, two. So start G and then it should bring it up. Okay. And then where does it record it to? It records it to your machine into, into a, there's um there's a captures folder in your, it's either in the picture, your it's either in your pictures or your videos. So I want to hit game bar? Yeah, that's what the G stands for, game bar. And then there, there's a little white circle that looks like the, you know, the record icon. That'll record whatever was in focus when you invoke the game bar. There's also, on the right-hand side, you should see like the, a picture of a microphone. It's going to be muted. It's muted by default. So when it records, it's not going to record your voice unless you unmute that. Hmm. Well, I got it brought up the start menu, but it didn't bring up that. I'll have to play with it at a later date. I can rec if you're not able to record, I can record this session for you. I'll just make sure to turn my microphone on if I'm going to talk. Yeah, go ahead and record it. Okay. Because I can't get the recording of the. Uh... Yeah. Hang on. Well, maybe I did came up, come up. My little black thing came up on the top. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Let me see. So I hit to... capture. Yep. And that's it. It should. Yeah. And it should show like there should be an overlay that shows your recording. I, I can't get mine to come up right now. Where's the. It says screenshot save. Yeah, that's there should be like a, a record option. It's not showing on mine either. Uh. Things working. Yeah. Well, maybe that's because I'm recording it already. But that would shouldn't affect you. Uh, yeah, it's it's not working for me either. For some reason today, I, I don't know why. It's like the the widgets aren't available. All right. Well, I'll play with the later uh, date. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Do fine. Let's see if I can get rid of this stuff. All right. Come to attention. All right. All right, our official puncher, Madeline. Punch it. Ready, set, go. One.
Very good. Mute yourself, Natalie. Okay, everybody hasn't popped up on the screen yet, but the brain is coming into class. So we have a tournament coming up um, at London. It's actually in Louisville, I was told. And uh, that's May 15th. So Kelly's going to start. She's going to do her title. And then we'll rotate through the class. Wait, hold on one second, Kelly. When it's when it's your turn to go, you need to unmute yourself so that you take the screen. Go ahead. Very good. All right, Sam Heater, why don't you go next? Unmute yourself. David, go next. Unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Justice, my name is David Hankins, representing Bridgeboro Friday Institute, Brown Center, Makata, Gojo, Shido, Nee. Very good, David. Thank you. Mute yourself. Craig, you want to go next? Sure thing. Judges, my name is Craig Frederick, representing the Greensboro Karate Institute. Akana. Sanjay Data.
Good move, Craig. Look like you dropped one move. I'll come back to you on that later. Okay. All right. Ask me. Unmute yourself and do Juan Sue for me. Okay. Very good, I mean, your camera's a little low, so your head was cut off most of the time. Back up again and just do your announcement. You never did the announcement. Your name is Ethne. Say your name. My name is Ethne. Say your last name. Representing the Greensboro Karate Institute. Representing the Greensboro Karate Institute. Leonard. Leonard. Juan Su. Juan Su. All right, that's your announcement. And if you forgot, you need to practice it. Mute yourself. Lenny, you want to go next? Judges, my name, Leonard Taplin. My school, Greensboro Karate Institute, Leonard Center. My kata, say some. Very good. Thank you, Lenny. Mute yourself for me. Thank you. All right, Marjorie, you ready? Judges, my name is Marjorie Streck. I represent the Greensboro Karate Institute Leonard Center. Nakata Saison.
Well done, Marjorie. Good eye contact. Lenny's giving you a hand. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Very good. And Lenny, on that note, you were in your head a little bit, so some of your punches were off angle a little bit. So I've been working with Marjorie hard on that very point. All right, um, Madon, you haven't went yet. My name is Madan Mohan Rajagopala. I represent Greensboro Karate Institute Renault Center. My kata is Sesa. Very good. Nice kicks. Let me just give you a hand also. Mute yourself for me. Okay. Now we're going to get Madeline up a little bit. All right. Um, I got a boring paper on here. All right. So, Craig, this is the spot that I think you dropped, you dropped this move. So, from the stump, you drop your hand and you come around and circle that around to there and then punch. And then do these. Does that look right? Right. Yep. Yeah, I definitely okay. missed that one. Did you just drop it? Or yeah, I, you did, I, oh. I, I forgot that move. Okay. All right, so let's all practice that. So we're going to start with our back sort of to the camera, and your left foot might be stomping somebody here. Drop this arm so it's even with your leg. And as you bring your leg around, that arm comes around. Then you come up to here, lock down, punch. All right, let's do that piece. One. All right, then there's two circle blocks here. So drop your arm again down to your leg, and then bring it up this way. Then you slide your front foot forward, and slide your back foot up, and as you do, you do the second. Up. Stroking the stump again. One. Two. One, two, one more time, one, two, Tripod's being very sensitive. Craig, I need to ask you something while we're going over that. Sure. Do you ever come to Greensboro? Do I ever come to Greensboro? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 uh, my parents live down the coast, so 
that's as close as I get. I haven't seen them in a year. Uh, I'll be probably seeing them in the summer. Let me know when you're going to the coast. You're talking about the North Carolina coast? Yeah, they're just uh, north of, uh, they're just north of Myrtle Beach. Okay. See this uh, frame back here? It's a logo, and what's around it, it's a, uh, it actually was a frame for a wedding. So, like, a wedding couple would go in the middle, and then guests would sign around it. Uh huh. So, all my black belt signed around it. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll meet you at the coast if that's what's necessary so that I can get you to sign. Come on and come because I need the water. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. We'll, Just, we'll work something out. I mean, I, I keep thinking about, like, you know, the next time I go down, if I could find a, find a way to intersect where I could actually come to the train with you guys for, for a class or something. Well, either way, but, I want yeah. to sign. So if, uh, if I have to, I'll drive to the coast to meet you. They'll give me a okay. reason to take Kelly to the beach. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's do some kicks. Uh, where's Ethme at? Ethme, you left the screen. All right. Unmute yourself. Back up so that your head's on the camera. That'll work. Left front stance. Okay. Crescent kicks. So I'm going to mute myself. Ethme's going to count. Do 10 on each side, Ethme. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Hold on one second, ask me. Madeline, you probably can do those kicks without holding on to that table. Okay. Right. Go ahead, ask me. Keep them up in front of your face, ask me. Eight. There you go. Nine. <laughs> Good work. Mute yourself. All right, Madon, let's do side kicks. And let's do them sideways to the camera when you start doing them. Yes, sir. All right, side thrust kicks. Side kicks when you're right. Why? Put the belt at me. There you go. Good job. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, eight, switch left. Six. 
Seven. Eight. Nine. Very good. Thank you. Marjorie, get into a left front stance. Let me tell you what I want you to do first and then unmute yourself. So get into a fighting stance facing either way, not the camera, sideways. Okay, that'll work. All right, defensive front kick. Back fist. Reverse punch. Good job. And nice moving forward on the reverse punch. That's what I wanted you to do anyway. So do it again. The whole thing. Defensive front kick. Back fist punch. Good job. All right. Everybody watch Marjorie do it one more time because she's scooting forward between the back fist and the punch, which is what you have to do because your opponent's going to back up. Go ahead. Good job. And notice her left hand was up blocking the left side of her head from her ridge hand. Unmute yourself, Marjorie, so you can take the count. And when you do it, do it on both sides. So do 10 on one side and then switch to the other. Let me get that kick above the belt. All right, before you switch sides on it, Marjorie, hold on one second. So every style of karate and taekwondo has different rules on touching below the belt. We have very strict rules. Some schools, if you accidentally hit below the belt, they just consider it incidental contact. But at my instructor's um, the Junior Olympics, 5,000 kids, there was lots of injured kids in the Taekwondo tournament because they were kicking each other in the legs a lot. So we have very strict rules on that. So you have to practice keeping those kicks above the belt. Don't be lazy about it. Get it above the belt. If you touch somebody below the belt, it's a foul. Three fouls and you lose the match. Right? Okay. Get back out there and get to the other side. Marjorie, go ahead. One. Two. Three. Very good, Marjorie. I'm going to have Lenny's going to do another version of that same combination. So front kicks are really valuable and sometimes overlooked. So in the court tournament where the essence is to get there real quick and touch, not a matter of winning a, a long time combat for points, a front kick is very effective. But you got to make sure you lift your knee up. Because if you don't lift your knee up 
as you're doing the kick, you're going to skim him and hit the person and hit him low, or you're going to come into your target, toes first, and hurt your toes. So you got to lift your knee up so that you get your knee up so that you can come in with the ball of your foot on the attack. And that's all about lifting your knee up and coming straight in and not coming up so that you don't have big toe first. All right, Lenny, I want you to do um, front kick back this punch. So start in a fighting stance and throw a front kick off your back leg, switch stances with the kick, and then back this way. Before you do it, everybody had a hard time when you switch sides. That left hand reverse punch is something you should practice too. For a point match, it's not a matter of how hard you can hit with that left hand reverse punch, it's hitting the target, touching the target. Madeline, get off of whatever you're sitting on and pay attention to class. All right, Lenny. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good work, Ed. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, switch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Very good, man. Good switch on the stances. Thank you. So, let's look at what would happen in this scenario. If I'm if I'm uh, sparring with Kelly and she's close enough to be that front kick that Lenny just did, all right, I'm here and I'm throwing that front kick. So I throw the front kick and I throw back this punch. If I score, that is Right, because I'm gonna score. She retaliates after my my attack. The other thing to do is, as I throw the attack, this punch, she could back up, trying to get away from the punch. All right, now she's out of my range, so I'm gonna throw a lunge kick and stretch forward to get the kick. So that's the first kick from attack number four. So I was in here. And I threw the back of this punch, and she backed up to get away from the punch. So then I, a front kick wouldn't work. It'd be too close or too far away. So I'm sending my hip and throw a, a lunge kick follow. All right, so whichever side that you felt best on or thinking ahead, whichever kick that you think you could do the lunge kick better, finish with that side. So if you think you can lunge kick better with your right leg, then try to finish on that side. All right, go ahead and do some on your own count.
So start start with Lenny's front kick. Do the front kick first. Switch sides and then do the lunge kick after the punch. That's it. Good job. But Don, let your head go back a little bit when you lunge kick. You extend your hip, your head's going to go back a little bit. Good job, Lenny. Good extension. Good work, David. That looks sharp. Don't kick the camera. Good. Kelly, you need to start a little bit over so that you're on the camera. That way. All right, rest. So as I was saying, that's an overlooked technique in, in competition, especially. You see a lot of round kicks, a lot of side kicks, a lot of spinning back kick attempts, but not a lot of front kicks. And the reason for that is people are nervous about kicking with the ball in their back and crunching their toes. So like everything else, you prepare for that by hitting the target and practicing it so that you're comfortable with it. You really have to be on the bottom of the ball of your foot, and then if you come in, so if you hit on the bottom of the ball of your foot, like Kelly can't curl her toes back like some people can, but if she gets it the right way, then the pads of her toes push back as she drives in with the ball of her foot. So you aim to hit really on the ball of your foot, then your toes get pushed out of the way. If you come in not in very specific, you can come in toe first, and then you won't do it again. You won't use that kick because you hurt yourself. All right, Madeline's going to do her kata for everybody, but we're going to take a couple minutes and practice. I didn't have Madeline on the spot because I wanted to give her a minute or two to practice her kata. So, everybody practice your competition kata. And Madeline, do the one you're going to do for class. Don't unmute yourself yet. It's not time. Get up and practice. Marjorie, you're still unmuted. Thank you. Marjorie, your cot is looking good. We're going to have to do a remote competition from your kitchen. Because <laughs> you're really looking good. You're keeping your eyes up, looking sharp. Question about the tournament. Okay, hold on one second.
All right, that move looked good, Craig. All right, what's the question? Is it online or face to face? The tournament? Yes. It's face to face. It's at a park in Louisville. Did what time is it? We have 43. Water. No, for the tournament. I believe, oh, Raina, that's you talking. I can't, yeah. I can't see you. Your picture never came up. Oh, oh, sorry. Do you have a flyer? I believe it's at 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I ha oh, there you are. You came up there for a second. I didn't have Sorry. your Mikata because your camera wasn't on. Yeah. All right. Well, you can do one right now. Get up and introduce yourself and do your Kata. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. I did. Okay. Judges, my name, Lena DeVay. My kata means my school, Greensboro Karate Institute, London Center. My kata, one suit. Very good. Mute yourself now. And Madeline, unmute yourself and do your cotton. My name is Madeline Owen. Great for a client to do Lindley. My cotton, who won? Be nice, Seth me. All right, Kelly's running out to the trunk because the flyers for the tournament are in the trunk, so she'll be right back. We're running out of time, so we're almost in end of class. What we'll do is practice our katas a little bit more. As a matter of fact, while she's getting that, everybody do that. Stand up and do your kata again. Okay, everybody rest. All right, so I am not muted at the moment. Yes. Okay, so it's Triad Martial Arts Invitational Tournament, Saturday, May 15th, and it starts at 10 a.m. And it's on Shallowford Road in Louisville. And it's in a park. So bring a chair, it says. So you want to bring like a, you know, a folding park chair or something. It's $25. And it's at 10 o'clock a.m. I'll post this. I sent an email to some people. But I haven't, I didn't post it to everybody because some of you I thought I was going to catch in class, like uh, Raina and Sam Hita. So I'll post it on the uh, group page and we'll bring more flyers the next time that we have a class. Which, uh, by the way, does anybody know what the weather's going to be like Thursday? No. If it's nice I'm, Thursday, we'll have I'm to ask you right. If it's nice Thursday, we'll have class outside. 
at Latham. And one of the reasons we want to do that is because of this, this upcoming tournament. So people can practice on the grass because it's a little bit different. All right. I'll let you know. I'll post it. Uh, I'll post the post tomorrow night. But I'll also post one Thursday in case the weather changes. You never know what's going to happen. It's supposed to be a little bit cloudy. Well, cloudy, we're not worried about. Rain, we are. It's supposed to be like cloudy and around 70 percent. Oh, well, that's 70 degrees, only 7 percent rain, mostly sunny. Oh, well, well, then it looks like we're going to have class outside on Thursday. So everybody prepare for that. And um, again, if something changes, you know, like a hurricane decides to come in, I'll post it on the group site. All right, good class, everybody. Good work. Come to attention. Why do we follow the rules? Because, because it's, it's the right thing, thing to, to do. do. Thank you. Who's number one? I am. Good job. Good class. Good class, Bill. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Great class. Thank you for having me. Have a good night. You too. And Craig, don't forget to let me know when you're in there.